brain development, if you will, mm -hmm. birth the three. What are we talking about? We've learned a tremendous amount in the last really 15 years from neuroscience about the critical importance of the early years of life. And what that science is telling us is that the early relationships and experiences we have as babies and as toddlers literally form the architecture of our brain. So you just have 10 minutes where you either read or play in cozy ways, so not big, loud play, but in nice building puzzles, um, reading a book together, drawing, coloring, anything where you're talking and asking about the day and kind of going over what happened that day. You're using your language in that moment, and it's really only 10 minutes. So it can feel very overwhelming to parents who have significant competing demands, but building out 10 minutes of uninterrupted, cozy playtime really goes really far in developing the children's brains. Jennifer, talk about the education piece of this for the infants and toddlers we're talking about. Um, I think it, it's so important because we need to look at the caregivers who are taking care of these babies and we know now that kids, babies especially, are in child care way more than they were like when I was a child. Um, and so we need to be able to educate and teach these caregivers who are caring for these young children um, what to do and to teach them about brain development and how important these early years are. So to hear parents talking about, I want a place where my child is going to learn has to be safe, but I want him to learn. I want right. him to have opportunities. I want him to have that start right from the start. And as Joe said, for parents who live in impoverished communities, that is a significant challenge. It's much right. harder to, it's hard for every parent but to find infant harder. care. But it's even harder for impoverished parents. So you just say, oh, you can't just spend more on this population, mm -hmm. you say? Uh, I say that you've got to take a long-term view of this. Everybody's looking at expenses running government on a short-term matter, and this is an investment because it's going to save money down the road. Remedial education, behavioral services, and the criminal justice system. So how do we consistently educate parents, are one very important constituency, decision makers, professionals who are in the, the health care sector, the education right. sector. We want to have consistent understanding and messaging. Early child care, if you will, yeah. birth to three, prenatal care. Where does this fit into your agenda? 85% of the human's brain develops from birth to five years old. That's right. So getting a child early on strengthens that child's intelligence and their ability and, and their ability to deal with conflicts. And, you know, it just makes that child so much more of a... a, a, a reliable or competent or steady person going forward. We happen to be doing a series to disclose uh, called Right from the Start NJ that deals with toddlers and infants and prenatal care and, and, and state reimbursement uh, for child care, et cetera, et cetera. Where does that fit into the agenda from your point of view? The first few years, say birth to three, is there a place? If we look at women's return and participation in the workforce, the one thing around the affordability issue mm. is women being able to return to the workforce and be confident that their child, zero to three, is in a safe place, being cared for properly, and getting early education. Explain what that means, the child care subsidy program. There are other families in the state who are lower income who depend on our child care subsidy program. And that mm. is a, a state benefit that's available to people who need support in being able to afford child care. And from my perspective, economic development and getting people to work requires making sure that we have a child care program that works for them um, because you need that peace of mind, you need that security in order to succeed in your job. The state of New Jersey has a phenomenal early childhood program, but what we have lacked in is expanding those programs and really thinking about pre-three-year-olds. What happens from, uh, you know, prenatal care to three before we get them inside of a classroom setting? There are neuroscientists that come out and explain to you that a child's brain is malleable plastic. And if we get an opportunity to mold that, to expose it, to have them express in different ways, the opportunities that we have to really creating a phenomenal human being is extraordinary. Hi, I'm Cecilia Zalkin. It costs much more to care for an infant than for an older child, and many New Jersey child care centers don't have the funding they need. Because of this, many children in New Jersey don't have their basic needs met. 
Right from the start, NJ is dedicated to supporting this vulnerable population, children from birth to age three. We know that the early years are the most critical, and we believe that every child deserves a bright beginning and a healthy future. Education begins at birth. The brain develops most rapidly from birth to age three when critical skills are developed. Parents are the first and best teachers for their children, but for those like me who work, finding quality, affordable childcare can be challenging. But children have the greatest opportunities for success when they learn and have positive interactions with their caregivers. Because learning doesn't start in the classroom, it starts in the cradle.